before we start i just want to show you my eyebrows before the tail part was patchy and it grew out downwards and this is how i used to fill them in it was very arched it was okay but i didn't like the fact that it made my eyes look so sad and didn't have enough space to work with so coming from this to this was definitely a big step people ask why i say why not now i'm not saying that everyone should do it but for me now it's a lot easier to apply makeup on my lids when i raise my brows you can see a dent where my hair used to grow the only downfall with taking off half your brows is you can't just get up and go but i do anyway because i don't care so now i can shape my brows however i want that will go with certain makeup looks i do so let's get started by grooming the eyebrows first. I am tweezing my brows with Anastasia Beverly Hills tweezers. So grooming them will just give you a clean canvas. Especially if you're taking a photo, you really want your eyes to be really clean. So here I am just using the spoolie and the scissors I got from Daiso. And I'm just trimming the long hairs off. Now for brow number one, this is my everyday go-to brows. So I do my brows like this when I have minimal makeup. Using the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil in Ebony. My brows are definitely over tweezed, so I have some hair missing. And with the Brow Wiz, I am just filling it in. I am not following how it grows. So as you can see, when I line it, there is still space. I'm just recreating a new hairline. Since I don't have the natural tail part of my eyebrow, I am just extending it maybe half an inch away from where it's cut off. So now I go back and fill in those gaps. I really like focusing on the hairline first because this really defines my eyebrows. Next step would be filling in the top hairline. And here you can see that I'm making like a triangle and I'm just extending it towards the middle of my eyebrow. Here I'm just showing you the dent where my eyebrows should have been. So I like how it's a little higher than what I originally had. Now I'm just filling it in with a pencil. I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Pro Palette in Ebony. With an angle brush, I like to fill in the end of my eyebrows and since there's no hair on the end of my brows I like to make the tail part of the brows a little darker and whatever is left with my brush I just sweep it across my eyebrows and you want to be light-handed because you don't want it too harsh right away you slowly want to build it up and here I'm taking the spoolie and I'm just brushing off any excess product so now I'm taking the concealer from the palette using a flat synthetic brush and I'm creating and defining the hairline of my brows. Once you're satisfied with the shape, go ahead and set your eyebrows with a brow gel. Here I am using espresso. Moving on with brow number two. So it's more of a straight and lighter brows. So same thing, pretty much use the brow with spoolie to clean up the brow. And instead of me going for a rounder arch towards the end, I am just going straight across. And since we're going for a lighter look, I am using Brow Wiz Pencil in Burnett. So I'm taking the Brow Pro Palette once again. And this time I am filling it with Shaw Burn Brow Powder. I really like the shade for someone that has ombre or just any lighter hair. I really have dark eyebrow hair, so this powder really covers that up. And here I'm just showing you the dent once again, and it's a little higher than the other one. So taking the concealer one more time, so I'm just defining my brows. Since I'm going for a straight short look, I'm not trying to get too much of an arch. And since this is a lighter color for the brows, I am just going back where the hairline is and filling that in. And to finish off the light eyebrow look, I am setting my brows with the caramel tinted brow gel from Anastasia. 
So here's brown number one and brown number two. I hope you like it and I hope you learned something. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.